torque element. When a company like Volkswagen starts rushing backward, you know something is wrong. They're scrambling to undo the mess they created, bringing back physical buttons they once mocked, redesigning cabins they claimed were the future, and sprinting to roll out cheaper electric cars like the so-called ID Everyone, all in a desperate attempt to stay relevant. But while Volkswagen is still cleaning up its own confusion, Tesla is already years ahead, quietly building the future. And that future begins with a car that shouldn't exist. A car designed not to impress Silicon Valley engineers or Wall Street analysts, but real people, everyday drivers who want something smart, simple, and human again. A car that could finally bring the electric revolution home to millions who've been left behind. This is the Tesla Model 2, and what you're about to hear will make you look at affordable cars in a completely new way. Because this car, this little electric hatchback that costs less than some used SUVs, might just be the vehicle that rewrites the global EV market. Let's begin where the story takes its most unexpected turn. In Wolfsburg, Germany at Volkswagen's own headquarters. Inside the heart of a company that once ruled the automotive world, engineers are working overtime. They're sketching new dashboards, testing knobs, running simulation after simulation just to fix what they broke. You can almost hear the quiet panic in those boardrooms. The reason? Customers are angry. For years, Volkswagen told the world that the future was touchscreens, big, glossy panels that replaced every button, every switch, every control. It looked futuristic, sure. But something was missing. Warmth. Simplicity. Familiarity. Older drivers hated it. Feedback poured in. People in their 50s and 60s couldn't figure out the climate controls, couldn't find hazard lights, couldn't even adjust volume without staring at the screen for seconds that felt like minutes. When your product makes people feel dumb, you lose them. And that's exactly what happened. Volkswagen, once the people's car company, had lost touch with the people. Meanwhile, half a world away in Austin, Texas, inside Tesla's Gigafactory, a different conversation was happening. Elon Musk had one mission, to make the electric car truly universal. Not just for early adopters or tech enthusiasts, but for everyone. That's how the Model 2 began. It wasn't born in luxury boardrooms or flashy design studios. It started with data, millions of hours of feedback from real Tesla owners across the world. What worked? What didn't? What scared them? What delighted them? And buried inside that mountain of data was a truth so simple, it felt revolutionary. People don't want complicated. They want confidence. That's why the Tesla Model 2's interior feels like a home, not a spaceship. It's designed around familiarity, comfort, and usability, particularly for an audience most automakers ignore. Older drivers. Step inside and you instantly notice it. The door sill is lower, just 14 inches from the ground, reducing strain on knees and hips by nearly a quarter compared to standard cars. The seats slide an incredible 10 inches with ergonomic grips built right into the sides. No more struggling to find leverage, just slide, sit, and relax. This isn't luxury for luxury's sake. It's thoughtful engineering for real life. Tesla's data showed that nearly one in three American seniors struggle with some kind of mobility issue. So instead of pretending every driver is 25 and flexible, they designed for everyone. The cabin feels softer, not fragile but warm. The materials are durable yet inviting, with subtle metal trims and stitched fabric surfaces that feel crafted rather than manufactured. It's the kind of tactile feedback you expect from a car twice the price. Tesla didn't go cheap here, they went clever. The seat fabrics resist wear 60% better than traditional materials. The surfaces wipe clean with a single cloth, because 75% of drivers over 50 said they wanted low-maintenance more than luxury textures. Even the screen, Tesla's iconic centerpiece, has evolved. The fonts are larger, 1.5-inch average height, with near-perfect contrast ratios. For drivers with aging eyesight, that's the difference between confidence and frustration. And here's where Tesla plays its masterstroke. There's a new feature hidden in plain sight, a senior mode. Turn it on and the entire interface adapts. Icons enlarge, animations slow down by 15%, and voice guidance speaks at a clearer, steadier pace. This isn't about making the car dumbed down. It's about making technology feel human again. Because when you step into a car that feels like it understands you, not overwhelms you, that's real innovation. The lighting too is something special. Tesla engineers found that most car interiors use cold, bluish LEDs that strain the eyes during long drives. The Model 2 switches to warm 3000 Kelvin lighting, 
closer to candlelight, that reduces fatigue and even helps older drivers see better at night. It's small, subtle, and brilliant. In contrast, Volkswagen is now spending millions just trying to rediscover warmth. They're reintroducing buttons, soft colors, and gentler lighting, things Tesla already perfected. It's like watching a veteran boxer trying to unlearn bad habits while the new champ is already celebrating the next fight. But this isn't just about comfort. Tesla's real genius lies in its control system, a hybrid interface that brings physical buttons back to life, smarter than ever before. Picture this, you're driving on a rainy night. The road's slick. You need to turn on the defroster, fast. In most cars today that means poking through touch menus while your windshield fogs up. But in the Model 2 your hand moves by instinct. A textured, backlit button sits exactly where your fingers expect it to be. You press once. Done. It's not nostalgia, it's optimization. These aren't cheap plastic toggles either. Each button is crafted for function. Oversized 1.5 to 2 inches wide, tactile enough to use with gloves, and softly illuminated for visibility in total darkness. They're grouped in clusters around the steering wheel, within 6 inches of reach, a distance Tesla calculated using ergonomic data to minimize movement and maximize safety. And every critical system has a physical override. Hazard lights. Defrost. Window controls. They work even if the entire screen goes black. Why? Because Tesla learned from its data, and from competitors' failures. Volkswagen's infamous haptic sliders were so bad that nearly half of senior drivers said they hated using them. Tesla looked at that and said, let's never make that mistake. Adding these buttons costs Tesla an extra $75 per car. But they're worth 10 times that in goodwill. User satisfaction tests showed a 30% increase in overall comfort and trust simply from having a few physical buttons back. And that's what makes this car so dangerous, for everyone else. Because while other companies are fighting over who has the biggest screen, Tesla quietly figured out what people actually want, clarity, control, and calm. This is not a toy for tech lovers. It's a tool for real life. And then there's the cost. The Model 2 starts at $15,990. Yes, you heard that right, a Tesla for under 16 grand. Even if it eventually sells closer to 25,000, that's still game-changing. But what's most fascinating is how Tesla made it possible. Under the hood, everything about this car screams efficiency. It's built on an evolution of Tesla's unboxed architecture. A production method so revolutionary that it can assemble an entire car in less than half the time of traditional factories. It uses fewer parts, smarter wiring and massive single-piece castings for the front and rear. That means less welding, fewer robots and faster scaling. And that's where Volkswagen, and every other legacy automaker, just can't keep up. Tesla is now producing vehicles like software. Updates, tweaks, improvements, they roll out constantly. Even after you buy it, your Model 2 keeps getting better. And while other companies hide upgrades behind service fees, Tesla's software system is transparent. Want premium features? 15 bucks a month, clear, simple, optional. Meanwhile, Tesla's supercharger network already gives owners about 30% lower charging costs compared to public chargers. And those numbers keep improving as Tesla opens its network across more regions. That means a driver covering 10,000 miles a year could save around $400 annually just through Tesla's ecosystem. But what really makes the Model 2 special isn't just how much it saves. It's how much it simplifies. Insurance rates could drop up to 25% thanks to Tesla's safety scores. Home service options, a blessing for seniors, mean you can schedule minor repairs without ever visiting a service center. And 24-7 live voice support, already handling 85% of common issues remotely, ensures you're never left stranded or confused. It's an ecosystem that feels less like a car company and more like a partner, one that evolves with you. And that's exactly what legacy automakers can't replicate overnight. Volkswagen, once the people's champion, is now spending billions trying to reverse engineer trust. But trust isn't built in a lab, it's earned on the road, one satisfied driver at a time. Tesla has that head start. And if adoption trends continue, with EVs expected to hit 40% of new car sales by 2028, the Model 2 alone could grab a staggering quarter of the affordable EV segment. That's not competition. That's dominance. But here's the emotional core of it all, and why this story matters to more than just car fans. 
The Model 2 isn't a symbol of wealth or status. It's a bridge. A car for families. For retirees. For first-time buyers. For people who just want something that works. Beautifully. Imagine a retiree trading in their last gas-powered car, nervous about switching to an EV. They step into the Model 2 and everything feels right. The seat welcomes them. The buttons make sense. The drive is quiet, smooth, confident. No confusion. No intimidation. Just simplicity done right. That's the secret to Tesla's brilliance. Not just building faster cars but building smarter experiences. Because when something feels natural, it becomes inevitable. And that's why competitors are terrified. Volkswagen, Toyota, Hyundai, they'll all copy this formula. They'll reintroduce their own humanized interiors, cheaper EVs, and hybrid control systems. But they'll always be chasing. Because Tesla didn't just make an affordable car, it made a philosophy. It proved that advanced technology doesn't have to be cold. That innovation doesn't have to alienate. It proved that a car can be affordable, intelligent, and deeply human, all at once. And that's the kind of revolution you don't recover from. So now, as Tesla prepares to roll out the Model 2 to the world, we're standing at the edge of a new automotive era. One where simplicity becomes the ultimate luxury, and familiarity becomes the new frontier. And when the first Model 2 rolls silently off the line, remember this, it's not just another car. It's the moment the electric revolution truly became personal. Because while others are still catching up, Tesla is already home. Do you think the Model 2 will truly reshape the EV world, or will legacy automakers still find a way to catch up? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Type Torque Element if you're ready to see how deep this story goes, because what's coming next might just redefine everything you think you know about the future of cars. Stay curious, stay driven, and I'll catch you in the next one.